All right, let's take a look at this. All right, well, hold on, hold on, let's go fast there. Uh, shot one. I slowed down the drop and made changes to his poses along the arc. That seems a bit better. So I think, how about you send me your uh, Maya file and I can do some camera work for you. Just kind of illustrate my points. So right now that is a bit uncomfortable, how we cut off. But then, and the continuation go a little bit there and a little bit down. But I'll show you this. Just send me your Maya scene, um, you know, all your references, or you import all your references into a RAR or a zip file or Dropbox, whatever you have. And take a look at that. I think this is a lot better. That seems cooler. It's more streamlined silhouette. You got full extension on the legs, which is cool. But to mirror that, you might also already have your arms extended. So just like you're going to feel that that arrow coming out like that feel is cool. But then having those arms constantly bent, even if it's for a short moment straight, but kind of takes away from from the from the push and how the arms go back are a tiny bit slow. I was take like a frame or two out, but still better. And then don't forget to have your head. So your head could potentially, at this point, it's already going down. I wonder if, you know, you want to look up so that it's in the ends up here. But doing here, it's looking up, then it's here. And then at this point, I will bring it further in, like it needs to roll in. Versus this feels a bit casual, like this pose, for instance, you know, head already down, arms like that. It's just a bit too casual, but you can help this with the head. I think your arc is better though. Yeah, I think your arc's good. If I be super picky and I can take a look at your scene, it still has that right there. Let's do some onion skinning here. You gotta look at your root. Let's pretend I'm gonna look at kind of the middle of the pelvis. And actually for this example, it's good that there's no camera move because the camera move would Sounds a bit off. It's probably right here. The camera move would mask my point here that I'm trying to make. All right. So if you look at this, you can see here, especially through there, how flat it is, right? You're going up and then it's boop, flap here and then down versus up. And you have just a big arc through here. You got to continue with that arc. So you got to go in there and track things frame by frame. Careful with the turn. When you look at this shape, it seems like everything is moving as one big plank. I know there's some changes in the arm, but what I would do is you got to have that, that body curl. So when it's out like this, imagine See how the legs are just coming up. It just feels like one piece of wood turning and you got to keep those legs a bit lower. They're still dragging. And then on your curl, you got to imagine that even if the legs are here, that you have your lower body and then you got your upper body starting to curl and then you got your head. I'm exaggerating curl in here and whatever you want to do with your arms, if the arms are still there or they're, or they're going in for the right, but you want a curl, you want that part to lead the action. So it doesn't feel like it's one big piece. That's why it still has a little bit of that dead weight feel because it's just this whole thing rotating, which has been the issue from the beginning. So you got to make sure that at this point you tuck the head in that leads and then you tuck the body and that the body has this curvature for a nicer roll. And then you can get out of that roll into this. It's just a couple of frames, but you got to get rid of that stiffness. And I know I'm harping on this and this is you know, I know you feel like you don't move on from the shop, but you know, my job is to point out the things that you could improve upon. And if I watch this, I think the arc is less of an issue. I'd still feel like, like I said, there's this little wall hit right there, but the overall timing is so much better. 
and I do like how you how long you hold the arms back like it has that feeling of phew, explosiveness and then you hold and then you turn like that is so much better just tiny little things it exits the frame which is good Ooh, that's cool but you're still pointing this way while it moves this way you gotta have more in alignment towards that otherwise it feels like it's crabbing and it just kind of slides sideways but the timing of it it's cool yeah it's just that end that feels funky so the drop feels better it feels like he's actually getting away from us there's that little wobble there that i think i like but you can potentially here have the legs a bit further out just a bit and then during this wobble you bring them a bit closer meaning that i interpret this wobble as this is the moment where this really gets tight like the web and it it straightens out and it kind of choo, it kind of snaps him down and then he swings and that snap down is going to bring the legs together choo. so that's why i'm saying you want to bring them out a little bit more just a tiny bit not to you know not like the crazy stiffness but just a bit and then just a bit closer here and that way you have visually more of a out and in change you just want to see it more but this feels a lot better yeah just the exit feels crabby let's look at this uh you're you work uh you're saying here i worked on his legs motion and slowed down the swing at the end yeah that's yeah, great much better uh, I move his body screen left as he falls and change his hands and legs po leg poses. Same thing here. He Now that he moved it, he's still crabbing, right? So your movement is good. I think it helps. Even though it feels like you're doing this and then it's pretty straight down, you might have to cheat a bit so it feels like that arc continues, that trajectory and translate continues screen left. Just right at the end, it feels like it goes down straight. And I know it's not because I see the negative space closing in. But the problem here now is that your knees are pointed straight ahead. And the body pretty much as well. There's a slight rotation in there. But you have, you have to make sure that when you look from a top view, and if he travels this way, that the body is pointing this way. And right now, it feels like the body's pointed this way with the legs while it travels this way. So even if it's slightly rotated, you might just have to push it visually. Like this feels it straight on, even though it should be pointed this way. I think legs are cool, your offsets. Just watch out, there's a funky spacing. I don't know if that's your legs or your root. Like through here, it seems like it's again floating in space. And then here it's suddenly accelerating. I think this is what I'm reading in terms of the arc suddenly dropping. So if you look at his shoulders, they go up, 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 up. And here they kind of hover. Like the spacing is very small. Whoa! And here it suddenly accelerates. So from a side view, it feels like you're going up. And then you're slowing down. And then, whoa, you're suddenly going down versus easing out of that and then accelerating. So watch out for that. That's going to help that visual look of that arc. And it's going to help, especially this foot. You can see with this foot from here to here, it's pretty much the same height. And then from here to here, it suddenly drops down. So it's going to make sure that that's all smoothed out. Uh, I get rid of the breakers, the brakes in his right hand and animate the chest a bit. Okay. Cool stuff in there. Ooh. It's a good beginning here. But then the problem is that as you go up, right, this hand is, the arm is like this, it continues to go up. I think you might get away with dropping this just for the impact. Let's watch this in real time. It's definitely better. Yeah, your impact is definitely better. And I like your shoulder, uh, your elbow here going down. So as this stops, you got the wrist going down, but it's a bit too slow. I would take a frame out of this. This feels a bit too slow. If you watch this in real time, watch the wrist. 
I can see it. I can see it rotate down, even though it feels like snap. So it's a bit too slow. Cool stuff. I would just take a frame or two out of that snap. Then you could potentially, right at the end, curl those fingers in a bit more for some tightening. And at the end, that orientation would be down here. Instead of like this, it'd be a bit lower so that the, head, the arm drags a bit. That's all you gotta do. Dress is cool. Left arm is always cool. There's some stuff in there that's cool. You could. Hmm. Just thinking out loud, and I know you gotta bring in those knees so those arms go go over, but I was looking at well, as you go down and push off, you want some rotation this way and compression in the feet because we are going for more realistic and then this section is completely frozen right so imagine on this the foot would be a bit flatter and then as you go down it gets into this rotation where you can see a little bit of the underside of the sole and then as you go up it will rotate over and flatten again as i was thinking this i'm going wait if you go down and you squat wouldn't your knees go out because you need room and then as you go up your knees go back in so i would act that out a couple times and see how it feels yeah sorry if that if that has always been in there i apologize for not seeing that before but to me it feels like as you go down room your knees will go out I'm actually wearing a t-shirt and undies, so I'm not going to turn on the camera, but I'm going to get up. <laughs> and I'm going to stand and squat. And if I go down, I don't know. If it, to me, I'm going to go further away. I know you can't see this because I have my undies on, but... Yeah, my knees go out. So, ugh, let me roll back in. Keep it wondering what this is. I'm rolling back in. So yeah, to me, I would bring in, just do the, exactly what you're doing, but the opposite. So your knees out. And maybe even if they intersect with the arm, because it's away from camera on the other side, we, we don't see it, it might be okay. But I would look out for that. And even then, you have to watch out. You can see your, your thigh here, your thigh, your uh, tibia, what's it called, the shin, rotating down, and then it stops. See how it's locked here? So stuff like that you want to avoid. Because as he pushes, to me it seems like, yeah, you will go out here, the knees will go out, and then on that push, because he's pushing this way, this tightens, the knee goes back in. All right? I eased his upper body motion, that's for the shot. I don't know, man, sorry, I'm just so harsh on this, but... Now it feels, now it feels even stickier. And now this is super short and it's probably okay. But what you've done now visually, if you look at this wrist, see how this wrist is stuck in space. It goes up and then sticks as if it was, if there's like a needle going through here and that's where it pivots. I think it's okay. I don't know if it's my initial reaction, but so all I would fix is this, so it's not so sticky. And watch out, you got a bit of a rogue thumb here. Like none of the fingers are going in or closing <clears throat> the gaps here, but then the thumb is doing its separate thing here. So watch out. Again, super picky, but this is how I would approach it at work. You know, you gotta really button the whole thing up to make this a final shot. So watch out the thumb, watch out the sticky wrist. Uh, I changed the camera angle and worked on Venom's animation and Spidey Jump. Ooh, Spidey Jump's nice. Bit fast. I would slow this down a bit. Give this maybe two or three frames. And then from here to here, a bit slower. You want to ease out of that and then you can 
explode into that jump a bit more. Because that feels cool, but how you get to there is a bit slow. So a bit slower on the down, then ease out of that more, and then explode out more. It's cool though, you can potentially bring in that leg a bit more and then leave that for just a more um, exaggerated leg pose. But this you gotta slow down. He feels just a bit too light. And I would, it's cool to end here. The problem is that the shot is so short. Yeah, it's a tricky thing. I. It's almost like you want to exit frame, but... It's a bit tricky. One thought would be... Let's close the mail here. What if... What if this was your framing? Imagine it goes all the way up here and Spidey's up here. Like you add the time it takes for him to jump and reach up here. Because that way we give, you know, there's not so much overlap here. You have only one frame of clearance here. That way we have more frames of him being, you know, in his pose. It's my fat Spidey. Um, more time for us to read this, more time for this guy to slow down. So what I would do is I would just add a second or two, like see if you can make that jump a bit higher and you can always go up and then drop a tiny bit and end in that cool pose, just pushed a bit. And that add a time, take the whole animation and scale it out so that this last frame is happening at the end of whatever this ends here. And then on that impact, just have a bit of a sharper head rotation this way. Like to make things heavier, you don't want to just take the whole thing and make it slower. You're still going to have some sharper, smaller impacts. So if the wrist is like this, imagine the wrist instead of angle like this is here. And then over three frames, it angles this way because it would roll off this side on that impact. So that can be a bit faster on that boom impact going through the arm and the chest, that ripple that, you know, the arms that stop the chest from going forward is going to have an overlap in the head. So the head going down and the bit over to the side can be a bit faster. So you still have scale and weight, and especially weight differences in this and this, while you overall slow it down. Just a bit. Especially this arm up. It's too fast. Also, watch out. This feels very straight. Like an IK arm. Don't forget your arcs. You know, you can easily go out, pow, or out, pow. You gotta watch out what you could do there. And that way, also by extending it, it doesn't just end on the impact. You can have a little bit of settle in here. So maybe two seconds longer, I guess. Boom. Maybe, or just a second. All right. That's it. Thank you. All right, there's an email. You can sign up, you can start whenever you want, you can submit whenever you want, you get 16 submissions. Either way, a like and subscribe would be awesome. All right, thank you.